Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master, and I'm super excited to be here today. In this video, I'm sharing with you how to set up a Stratus wallet. So I'll show you how to do that. The first step is to find the correct domain name. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to your search engine and go to coinmarketcap.com and you're gonna want to scroll down until you find the Stratus symbol and the Stratus name. And I see it down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. What I'm gonna do now is scroll down a little bit so I could click this website right here. And this takes us to their website which is stratusplatform.com. So go ahead and search that if you want, stratusplatform.com. Just make sure you don't misspell anything and verify that it's a HTTPS website and verify it's a secure connection by making sure it has this green padlock right here. And it does, so we're good. So let's continue moving forward. The other way to find their website is to go to their social profile. So if you go back to CoinMarketCap under Stratus and click social here, and then scroll down, you'll see the tweets by the Stratus platform profile. And I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And notice how many followers they have. They have 140,000 followers, which is a sizable amount. And in their profile right here, the link that they're promoting is stratusplatform.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it redirects us back to the initial website, stratusplatform.com. So it's safe to say that this is the actual website. I'm going to exit out of here along with the Twitter and I no longer need CoinMarketCap. And this is what the Stratus website looks like. We're gonna move on to step number two now, which is to choose the correct wallet. The way to choose the correct wallet is to go on stratusplatform.com and one of the tabs on the top here says wallet next to team and blog. You're gonna go ahead and click that and then you're gonna go ahead and scroll down and you'll see that there's two options here, the staking wallet and the Stratus Electrum wallet. Before we download anything, I do wanna let you know that the staking wallet and the Stratus Electrum wallet are the official wallets created and maintained by the core Stratus development team. So with that said, I can choose either the staking wallet or the Stratus Electrum wallet and it's saying here that the Electrum wallet might be best because syncing with the blockchain can be time consuming. If I wanna just send and receive, then it's saying that the Electrum client is just for me. If I was gonna choose between the staking wallet and the Stratus Electrum, I would just choose the Electrum because it says right here, blazing fast and ready to receive in seconds. So I think that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Stratus Electrum wallet for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, which is step number three, download the wallet. I'm gonna go ahead and click get here. I'm gonna scroll down to the assets here. And what I'm gonna do is choose the appropriate version for me. Uh, for me, that's the Mac OS X. If you're using a Windows, you would choose this Windows option right here. At this point in the video, you want to choose the appropriate version for you to download. You might be using a Windows or a Linux. However, for me and in this video, I'm doing this on a Mac desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Mac desktop version right there. And take note at the bottom left side of the screen here. It's saying that it's starting to download and it's gonna take about two minutes to do so. So at this point in the video, feel free to pause the video now and then recontinue the video once it's done downloading for you. Okay, great, so it finished downloading. So we're gonna move on to step number four, which is to install the wallet. I'm gonna go ahead and click this download that we just downloaded and it's gonna start opening now. And as you can see here, it's giving me an icon that I can click 
I'm gonna go ahead and double click that. And it's saying that it can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. I will click OK. And what I'm gonna do is drag this icon to my desktop and then I will exit out of this. And I'm gonna bring up my finder and then go to desktop and then I'm gonna click Electrum right here. So I'll go ahead and click that. It's saying it can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. What I'm gonna do now is right click it and then click open. And what it's saying now is the same thing. Are you sure you wanna open it? But now it gives us the option to open it. So I'll click open and wait for that to load. And while that's going on, I'm gonna exit out of all this. So here it is. This is the install. It's saying, how do you want to connect to a server? It says auto connect or select server manually. In this video, we're just gonna stick with the auto connect and then click next. And the second step here says, welcome to the Electrum status installation wizard. The wallet default wallet does not exist. What kind of wallet do you want to create? I'm gonna choose the standard wallet versus the watch stratus addresses. So click standard. And then the key store, do you want to create a new seed or to restore a wallet using an existing seed? And since this is the first time I am doing this, especially for this demo, I will definitely choose create a new seed. So I'm gonna click that, create new seed. And it's saying here, your wallet generation seed is this. So it wants me to save these 12 words on paper and it's saying that the order is very important. The seed will allow you to recover your wallet in case of computer failure. And it's saying warning, never disclose your seed, never type it in, into a website, do not store it electronically. So go ahead and write this down on a piece of paper and you could pause the video here and then recontinue it once you're done doing that. So just so you know, these 12 words will be different for everyone. So just be aware of that. And what I'm gonna do now is click next. And now it's saying to confirm that I've jotted it down. So I'm going to uh, put my seed here and then click next. And then it's asking me to choose a password. So here's a pro tip on our team. We use password managers. We specifically use keypass.info, that's spelled K-E-E-P-A-S-S dot info. Keypass info is a password manager, it's free, it's open sourced, and it auto generates very strong passwords for you. And this password manager is where you get your passwords, and it's mandatory that you use a password manager and get your password from password managers to create accounts, especially for your crypto accounts. So go ahead and copy and paste a new password that's auto-generated for you using keypass.info and then copy and paste that into here to create a new password. And then you're gonna click next. And it's saying that it's generating and it's saying that this is the wallet right here. So perfect. This is what the Electrum status wallet looks like. There's a history here. Obviously there's no history because it's brand new. There's a send button here. So I could get a Stratus address and then send them Stratus. I could even type in a description. I could choose the amount and then I could choose the fee here. And then there's a receive button. It shares my receiving address. I could copy and paste this and share that with people. And I could make requests. I could add contacts and then it shares the console here. So on the bottom right here, there's a keypad that's saying your wallet is encrypted. Use this dialog to change your password. I don't need to change my password, so I'm not gonna do that. There's this tool setting here, talking about the fees, the transactions, the appearance, and the identity. And that's about it for this wallet tutorial. In this video, I am not talking about how to send, receive, 
stack up, protect, or even update the wallet. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to download and install it and show you around a little bit and show you what the user interface looks like. However, there is one more step that I wanted to share with you and that's step number five and that's to verify that you can open and close the wallet. So I'll show you how I do that. I'm gonna drag my screen recorder to the top left and it says Electron status on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and click quit and it disappears. I have the Electron status icon on my desktop so I'm gonna go ahead and click that to start opening it and voila, here it is one more time. So now you've successfully downloaded and installed the Electrum Status Wallet. And that concludes my video. If you like watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You can learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. And you could get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. You could check the display address for the links and the promo code or you could check out the description below. You could also follow me on Twitter. My handle is Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching my blockchain tutorial on how to set up an Electrum Stratus wallet. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave me a message on Twitter. And thanks again. Have a terrific day, and I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.